Hey, it's Machine Gainer. I hope you're doing really, really well. So you've installed OBS Studio and for some reason there's some kind of bug with OBS Studio or maybe the newest version of OBS Studio is conflicting with a plugin or something like that of yours. It can also happen the other way. An older version of a plugin can conflict with a newer version of OBS. For whatever reason, you want to downgrade or roll back your OBS Studio to an older version. Well, I'm going to be covering all of that sort of stuff within this video. So I'm going to be showing you how how you can roll back OBS Studio to an older version and I'm going to show two different methods on how you can do this. I'm also just going to go through some pros and cons and some really important things that you need to consider when you're rolling back OBS Studio to an older version. I'm going to be showing you where you can find all of the different versions of OBS Studio. There's a few different locations that you can get those. I'm going to show you how you can find out what your current version of OBS Studio is. I'm also going to show you how you can back up your OBS Studio files and settings and scenes and all of that stuff as well. So there's a lot to cover in the video, but the video shouldn't be too long because most of this is quite quick and easy. As always, if you're a streamer or a content creator, you'll probably enjoy my channel. Hit the like button. Feel free to subscribe to the channel. And also there's loads of new people that have joined into my Discord lately as well. So if you want to join that, check out the link below. Let's go. First up, a quick word from my sponsors. Owned.pro was a plugin specifically for OBS Studio. You literally install this, and from there, you can install one click overlays from Owned.pro. You can install alerts from Owned Pro. It's a really, really good tool. I've tried this out myself. I absolutely love it myself, and I'm sure you'll like it too. And the best part is, if you use Code Machine at checkout when you take out a pro subscription with Owned Pro, you'll get 50% off. The subscription cost. You'll also be supporting the channel, so that's a thanks from me, and hopefully you enjoy it. Check out own.pro and let me know how you get on. Okay, so we've got quite a lot to cover here. So first up, I'm going to show you how you can find out what the current version of your OBS Studio is. You may already know this, but you also may not. You simply go into the help icon here, and you go into the about section, and it will show you right here 27.1.3 on a 64-bit. It shows you all of the information about it. You can also make a contribution using their Patreon. And I would encourage you, if you are a user of OBS Studio, to support them using their Patreon if you want. So now that we know what version of OBS Studio we're actually currently on, you may want to roll back to another version. And there are two ways that you can do this, one of which I'm going to show you, and the other one I'm going to talk about but not show you. I'm basically going to leave it for you guys to try that out. And there is a reason for that, and I will explain it in a second. So a quick word of warning here, if you've got a vanilla version of OBS Studio, rolling forwards or backwards upgrading to the latest version or going back to an older version is really quite a simple and straightforward process and the ways that I'll show you will enable you to not lose any of your scenes and sources and your settings and stuff like that as well. However, if you've got loads of different plugins installed with OBS Studio, some of them will need to be reinstalled. So I strongly recommend figuring out what plugins you actually have before you roll back or even before you upgrade, but certainly if you are rolling back. Now in most cases, a lot of the plugins are compatible with different versions of OBS Studio, so it's not a problem. But in some cases, and you have to be really careful with this, some of the plugins that you may really rely on will not be compatible with a newer version of OBS Studio, and more to the point, with an older version of OBS Studio. Now, obviously, common sense prevails here. The further back the version that you go to, the more likely it is that the plugins that you are using will not be compatible, or there could be some sort of bug or conflict of interest there. The worst case scenario is that you're gonna have to reinstall the plugins because most of the plugins are kept up to date and are compatible with the newest versions of OBS Studio. But you can also go to an older version of the plugins themselves to match up with the older version of OBS Studio that you roll back to. So there's loads of different options here regarding to matching a plugin with a version of OBS Studio. You just have to be really mindful of this because if you get it wrong, it can kind of screw things up a little bit. So next up, I'm going to show you where you can actually get the different versions of OBS Studio. If you go on obsproject.com, you'll see the latest release version. Now, this is the most recent stable release version of OBS Studio. It shows you the version number here and then it shows you what operating systems it's available on as well. I think that's Windows, Apple, Mac and Linux. And it shows you when the release date was. In this case, I'm recording this on the 22nd of February 2022. This shows that the release was on the 21st of February just yesterday. And I think the fact that it's a little one at the very end there shows that it was a hot fix. So with OBS, they tend to release on 
They have major updates on here, which with the next major update will be 28. And they have lots of incremental updates here. And normally a hotfix will be with this digit here. Obviously, you can choose to download the latest version if you're looking to upgrade. But in this video, I'm going to be showing you two ways to downgrade your OBS Studio and roll it back. You can also go on to openbroadcastersoftware.en.uptime.com, whatever. I'll link it in the description below rather than trying to read it out. But this just shows you some of the main versions that are available. And you can click on these versions to get a download file for them. For example, if I wanted to roll back to 2701, I can click on this and there is a free download available here. However, and again, I'll link this in the description below. You can go on the GitHub and you can see all of the different releases directly from OBS and their GitHub repositories. So here we can see 27.2.1 showing as the latest stable version. But even here, we can see a number of different hotfixes that have been added and things like new features and all the rest of it. We can even see release candidates here as well. Release candidate four, for example, release candidate three and so on and so forth. But if you scroll to the very bottom, you'll see lots of different pages of different versions. So for example, if you wanted to go back a little bit further with your version, let's say for example to version 26.02, you can click on this and it will show you all the information about it and bug fixes. And then of course, you've got all the downloads for it as well. Now here is where the first method of installing OBS Studio to an older version comes into play. You can actually, or so I'm told, install an older version of OBS Studio and it will replace the existing version of your OBS Studio. That sounds great, but my concern there would be there's potentially going to be some conflicts with the plugins and so on and so forth. So be very, very careful when you're doing this. I have not tested this, but I've been reliably told by someone that you can do this. Simply install an older version of OBS and it replaces the existing version that you have. And then when they release a stable version or when you want to upgrade to the latest version, you can just install the new version through OBS Studio, which I'll show you how to do in just a second. So with that in mind, you can simply download the older version and either use the installer using the installer.exe or you can use the zip file and install it through the zip file as well. Either way, you're able to just install it the normal way that you would install a fresh version of OBS Studio. Choose a location and it will essentially overwrite it. I'm not going to test that out because I don't want to risk any plugin issues and conflicts with my plugins because I've got a lot of plugins on my OBS Studio, but I am reliably told that you can do that. The second version of this is where you can take a backup of all your scenes and sources. You can uninstall OBS Studio and then reinstall the older version, but you've got a backup of your settings. And to be honest, whether you're doing version one of this to roll back your OBS Studio or version two of this to roll back your OBS Studio, I would still recommend backing up your settings anyway. And I'm going to show you exactly how you can do that right now. So within OBS Studio, you can go into file and you can show settings folder, this section here. This will just take you immediately to the folder where you've installed all of the settings for your OBS Studio. So I'm going to click on that. If you've got multiple versions of OBS Studio installed, the version of OBS Studio that you're on it will take you to the root directory for that. So me, for example, I'm actually recording now in a portable version of OBS Studio. If I wanted to know the version of that, or if I wanted to go to the location of that installation, I would do it in that version, which is on this monitor just here. But actually, it's this version that I'm recording here that I want to know the version of. So I've been able to go in here, click on Show Settings folder, and it pops out this folder just here. Now, it's these folders here that contain all of the bugs, the crash reports, the plugins, the profiles, the settings, everything everything that you have for your OBS Studio. So it's this that we need to take a copy of to make a backup of our OBS Studio in its current form. So whether you're just taking an older version of OBS Studio and overwriting your existing version of OBS Studio, or if you're uninstalling the existing version and then reinstalling an older version, which are the two methods I'm going to talk about, you still want to probably take a backup of this, which will just give you that comfort blanket that you won't lose your settings, you won't lose your sources, your scenes, and even your plugins as well. Although, as I said a few times in this video, you need to be careful with plugin compatibility when you're rolling back. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to click back to roaming. I'm going to copy this file here by clicking copy. Then I'm just going to go to my desktop, create a new folder. I'm going to call this OBS settings backup. 
and I'm going to paste all of these settings. It will now move all of these settings over to the backup location. And now that it's copied all of those settings over, if I uninstall OBS Studio and reinstall a new version, I can go straight back to that exact same folder and replace those files that will soon be blank because it's a new version of OBS that you've installed with all of my settings and scenes and sources. So what I would then do is I would right click and copy this folder and I would go back to the roaming section here and I would paste it into this section here now it'll probably ask you when you paste it if you want to replace the files that are there because they're more than likely if you've installed a version of obs studio that's a rolled back version it'll ask you if you want to overwrite the location you're essentially going to be overwriting a blank location and of course if you're using copy rather than cut do not cut them make sure you copy it'll still have a version of your backup on the desktop here anyway so you can paste this folder here in this app data roaming file or wherever you have got your installation and it will overwrite the settings the scenes the sources everything and it will then update the, the version that you now have with all of your settings and scenes so that's method one just being able to install an older version and replace the existing version by using the installer but what if you want to uninstall obs studio and then reinstall it well for here it's pretty straightforward we just go into windows type in uninstall and so we want to add and remove programs. Now, I would only recommend doing this, and this is a strong caveat here, if you've got a backup of your settings, scenes, and sources. Worst case scenario here, you roll back, it doesn't work, you can install the version you've just come from, and you've still got all your settings and scenes. It's really important that you take a backup of that folder. And also bear in mind here that some of the installed plugins will be installed at Windows level here as well. So you may see, for example, different plugins in this list. Here's a really good example. I can see in the list there's gradients source version 0.2 Point zero, I can tell that that is a plugin for OBS Studio that allows gradient sources to be created. And I can see when I installed that. There's a good chance that this will be compatible with a lot of the different versions that I roll back to. But the further back I roll back my OBS Studio version to, the more likely it is that this plugin will not be available. What I would do if I was you here is note down all of the plugins that you actually have in this list just in case. So to uninstall OBS Studio, we want to go to OBS Studio here and we want to click uninstall at this point and it will do a full uninstallation of OBS Studio and then you're able to just install an older version using the GitHub repositories that I showed you earlier rather than installing an older version over the top of a new version. I am reliably informed that that version does work but I'm not as comfortable doing it that way. Per personally I'd prefer to have a clean wipe and just install an older version from scratch after uninstalling a newer version. So once you've uninstalled this you can then go to the installer on the website here whether it's GitHub or if it's OBS Studio here to get the latest version. Whatever version it is, you've then got, but you can then also place your app data OBS Studio folder here to get all of your settings back. Hopefully that makes sense. If you've got any questions, please feel free to ask them in the comments below. I can't guarantee I'll be able to answer every single question, but I'll try my best to answer them. And where I can't answer them, I tell you what, the people on the OBS Studio forums are absolutely awesome. So you can just click on the forum here and there are loads of people that are willing to ask questions whether it's windows mac or linux support and there's all kinds of tools and help available so that was rolling back obs studio to an older version and finding what your current version is and being able to back up your version of obs studio in terms of your scenes and settings and sources and all of that hopefully you found this really really useful if you did please don't forget to like the video because it genuinely helps me also you can subscribe if you want and have a wonderful day take care